All right, hello everybody. This is Chris Hudson doing the final presentation of this semester, well, video rather. Um, this is the second problem on the uh, homework four that is not included in the textbook. So the sixth problem overall. It's asking us to show that if E1 up to En are events such that probability of Ei equals one for I equals one, two, all the way up to N, then the probability of their intersection is equal to one. So we can use the Bonferrani's inequality, which says the probability of the intersection of events um, E1 up to En is greater than or equal to the sum of the probabilities of E1 plus the probability of E2 all the way up to the probability of En minus N minus one. Now this Bonferrani's inequality, this is what we proved in that first textbook problem for this homework. So I'm just going to take it for granted, assuming that we already know it's true. All right, so we can go ahead and expand the sum in Bonferrani's inequality. That's this sum right here. I'm going to rewrite it as probability of E1 plus probability of E2 plus all the way up to the probability of En. Now, if we go back up to the problem statement, it tells us that probability of EI equals 1 for all the i's equal to one, two, all the way up to n. So when I interpret that here, we have probability of EI equals the probability of E2, sorry, probability E1 equals probability of E2 equals probability of E3 all the way up to the probability of En, and those are all equal to one. We got that from our problem statement. Therefore, if we're gonna add all these together, we really are just doing one plus one plus one in times, which is gonna give us a total sum of n. So we have shown that this sum of probability of E1 up to probability En is just equal to n itself. Now, substituting this result into Bonferrani's inequality, we get a much simpler inequality, which is just probability of the intersections of all these events is greater than or equal to n minus n minus one. Or, simplified, probability of the intersections is greater than or equal to one. Now, because probability of anything cannot exceed one, this just comes from the definition of what probability is, we must conclude that the probability of this intersection has to equal one. Because as we showed up here, this inequality gives us that it has to be greater than or equal to one, but we know that it cannot be greater than one, so it must therefore be equal to one. And we have proved the problem.